Okay, so let's find out exactly what's underneath our feet. That's up next. Hello everyone, this is Dwayne with Edge of Nowhere Farm and we're coming to you here today. It's the end of December 2019. So now we've got a lot of things planned for this coming year. In fact, I'll link our video here where we talk a little bit about our plans for 2020. You know, we, we've done a lot of work uh, so far to get to this point, but man, we got a lot of work left to do. One of the things that we noticed when we started building the home is how different the soil was in certain areas on the farm. And of course, we're dealing with a total of six acres. However, we'll be growing predominantly on a couple of those acres. So what we really wanted to do is we really wanted to get an idea of exactly what kind of soil composition we're dealing with. Now, I'll also link a video here where we talked a little bit about the ground itself and kind of more of a macro view. We took it six feet down so you can kind of see what's down below us and some of the challenges we have as far as essentially growing on a, pretty much a layer of rock down there with our caliche. But we also have soil. So we've got, you know, we know a good two feet or so of soil that we're gonna be growing in on top of that caliche layer. And what we really wanted to do is determine exactly what that soil is composed of. So now before I get started, I wanna give a shout out and a thank you to one of our viewers. In fact, he's been out to the farm visiting, but Jeff, just wanna thank you for the suggestion as far as the lab we're gonna be using to do this testing. So I really wanna thank you. Uh, you really, I think, are directing us well. So <laughs> looking forward to that. Um, but what we wanna do is we wanna show you what we're doing as far as our soil testing and have you kinda of join us as we do that. For the soil testing, we're gonna be using Logan Labs. They're out of Ohio and we're gonna be sending the sample to them. So they had some guidelines as far as how and where you wanted to take the soil samples. So we're gonna be following their guidelines. Essentially what we're doing is we're gonna be going down about six inches or so and collecting the soil samples down that deep. They also suggested taking it from multiple areas. So we're gonna be doing that as well. You guys have a pretty good view of the whole farm behind us here. So we're gonna really be concentrating on the areas that we know we're gonna be having our fruit trees in. And we're gonna utilize that soil sample specifically because we know that area is where we're gonna be doing the majority of our growing. At least that we're gonna be growing in the ground. We have some plans for above ground beds and things like that. However, in ground growing is gonna be predominantly our fruit trees. So we're gonna take the areas where we know we're gonna have several parts of the orchard, immediately behind me here, on the other side of the farm, um, and then across the middle here, and we're gonna kinda take 10 to 15 areas and get soil samples. Now, looking at the ground and the reason why we're doing this now, we talked a little bit in our 2020 plans. We've got several areas across the farm here we're gonna be bringing soil into. Definitely, I'm not gonna be worried about testing that soil. It's immediately around the house. However, we're also gonna have the land graded. So I wanted to make sure we get this soil, soil sampling done before we get the land graded, which is why we're doing this now. So let's talk a little bit about the materials we're gonna need for today. First thing would be our instructions. So we printed out the instructions from Logan Labs. Basically, it's pretty self-explanatory when you go onto their website as far as what you need to do. We'll be filling this form out, sending it in with our soil sample. I have a clean two gallon bucket right here uh, so we don't have anything that's gonna soil our soil sample. Gloves, obviously, because I'll be working with uh, uh, tools today. I do have a basic hoe, which I'm gonna use to scrape the top of the ground to make sure I'm not getting any of the organic material. If you take a look behind us, it's a little unusual, but we actually have green on the ground. So I'm gonna scrape that first layer off so we can get down into the soil. And then of course, I've got one of these, it's not actually a trenching shovel. I don't know the exact term for it, but I love this shovel. It's 16 inches long, the shovel itself. And I've actually just marked with a marker about six inches down. So I know that's about where I wanna be once I get to the bottom of the hole. All that being said, let's go ahead and go over to the first part of the orchard where I know we're gonna be having some deciduous fruit trees and let's get our first sample together. All right, so it's really cold today. I'm gonna probably not do as much talking as I normally do and kind of get to work to warm myself up. Got our first uh, area here. So what I'm gonna do is have Lori film me. I'm gonna go ahead and scrape the dirt back, get the shovel, get down into there and get a little bit of a sample out of there. So I'm gonna get to work.
Okay, so we're done. So that took a few minutes. I'll tell you what, it's cold out here. <laughs> Anyways, um, you can see that ground. One of the things you guys know if you're here in Arizona, the ground's very hard, the dirt's very hard. However, we've gotten consistent rain here over the last few weeks, softened up the dirt substantially. So it's actually kind of nice being able to do this right now. I probably would have had to bust an auger out in order to get down that far to normal circumstances. But you can see what we have here. It's a whole lot of brown dirt. So essentially what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mix this up just a smidge. So just to make sure that we got a good sample that's gonna go off. We'll probably let this dry just a little bit. Uh, obviously we're gonna be shipping this back there. So wet is heavy. Um, so we'll save a little bit on shipping uh, to get, get it shipped back. But I'm gonna go and mix this up just a little, um, get it ready to ship. Now what they ask for is two cups of soil into a Ziploc bag. And then of course you're gonna label it. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. We'll try to get the soil sample out in the mail sometime this week so they should be, be getting it sometime in the beginning of january and i think their turnaround time is three to five days so not exactly sure the best way i can share the results probably have it as part of another video here in the future and i think what i also may do is actually post the results for you guys if you want to see them uh, up on the community page on our on our, our page here on youtube so you guys can actually see the results themselves. I really have no idea what to expect. My assumption is we're not gonna have much in the way of organic material. Obviously it looks like there's a lot of organic material in here now because it's wet, but we know that even though we see a lot of vegetation on the top of the soil here, there's really not much going on inside the soil. As far as the different contents, calcium and that kind of thing, I am curious to see what that kind of content is gonna look like. When we were doing the sampling, we did, we were very specific with where we were at. We did take a couple samples up at the front because we plan on putting citrus trees up front, several samples immediately behind the house where we're gonna have our grapevines and our garden beds, and then of course, flanking on the property where we're gonna have the primary orchard, which is gonna be over on the west side of the property, and then a secondary orchard on the east side of the property. So several different areas that we took samples from. I think I was pretty good at getting down about six inches. It might've gone a little bit further in a couple different spots, but I was down at least that far in each one of those sections. So really looking forward to seeing what the results look like and really kind of get a basis as far as the material. I think for me as well, looking at organic material and or the organ amount of organic material inside the soil here to start. Because of course you guys know we're gonna be building that soil up particularly with, with wood chips uh, in our orchard areas, that breaks down over time. And you know, remember that your fruit tree roots are not very deep. So they go down an, a foot or two into the ground. Um, some of them have some type of tap root that'll go down just a little bit, but they're not heavy tap rooting trees. They go out and they have feeder roots that come up into the soil. So that six inch layer where we're down six inches now, as we continue to build soil on top of that, the way we plant our fruit trees, those uh, roots will go across that area up above the soil, and what is six inches down now will eventually be a foot down. So not only do we wanna build soil down, which the tree roots are gonna allow us to do, we're also gonna be building soil on top of where we have top soil now. So it's probably gonna be a few years before we do this again, but this is gonna give us a great basis to see how we do as far as building soil going forward. So just wanna thank you for joining us today. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. Questions or comments, leave those in the comment section down below. Instagram and Facebook, we post content there you won't see here on the YouTube channel. And our Amazon shop, I'll leave a link down in the description. That's a free, painless way to help support the work we're doing here. If you start with that link, it doesn't matter what you buy, you help to support us here. So just wanna thank you for joining us today and remind you, if we can farm on the edge of nowhere, so can you. Oh, I need to run in place. Let's go behind the chicken coop. We do have a bucket, so I've got a clean food grade storage, or I have a clean two gallon storage bucket. It's not a storage bucket. <laughs> and we're gonna be using Logan Labs. So now they're out of, where are they out of? Was it Ohio? Ohio. <laughs> oh. Holy crap. Let's go inside. <laughs> 